Hello, welcome to the Full Circle Podcast. This is the first one of the day in the world. You're what the fuck is good, y'all. It's your boy Buggy back with the Full Circle Podcast. I got my homies here and it is hot as a fucking bitch. So um shout out to this buggy towel. I'll be wiping sweat all 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 show. Um shout out my guy Tunanami. You GSM Pook. You these are my guys from the area. They make music. We've been doing a couple things the last year that we met. So, um, tune in on me. Tell these motherfuckers who you are. Um, you already know the fucking vibes. You feel me? Tune in on me. You know what I'm saying? Look me up. Google search. You feel me? Know Facts. <laughs> what you been working on the past couple months? Shit, a lot. You feel me? Anniversary coming soon. Some visuals. You know what I'm saying? Um, got some merch coming. Got a lot of shit coming. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Yeah, I saw, um... I saw you post that one clip, the animation and shit. Yeah. Shout out to Wave Change. The shit, shit he's doing is dope. Yeah, that's my brother, bro. He How did y'all link up? Um, well, we both basically like came in contact, you know, like over Instagram, and you know, connected. You feel me? It wasn't like like me and the videographer. You feel me? And like just like oh, you know, shoot the vid, whatever, some regular shit. I feel like he definitely <laughs> know how to ask. Yeah, little, little baby. Yeah, little baby. Nah, but basically, like, I have a really complex mind, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And I feel like he was able to capture it, you know what I'm saying? He did. Yeah, he, he did, you feel me? He, like, mm-hmm. Our minds are like alike, you know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. there's a lot of motherfuckers trying to go for that aesthetic with the green screen and all that shit. And yeah. I love the look of it, but some of them aren't pulling it off. Some of them are making it look shitty on purpose, Yeah. but he has he has it down. You know, yeah, he has his vibe down. So sure. I'm happy that you worked with it because yeah. I could see how you were trying to go with it too. Yeah. And he pulled that shit off. That green screen work is no joke. Yeah, that fire. shit, it's a lot, lot more difficult than people think with the lighting yeah. and all that extra shit that goes into it. So wait, wait, you know that wasn't a green screen, right? It wasn't a green screen. No, we like literally like went to space. Like <laughs> <laughs> facts. Like, okay. Like, all right. Well, I need to go there, bro. Where's the shuttle, dude? I got you, bro. Fucking. So you're waiting to release it, right? You're waiting, waiting for that drop. Yeah. Um. It's gonna release really soon. Uh, just you know, taking care of a couple things. You feel me? Facts. And then, it might be out by the time this is out. Literally. <laughs> Facts. Literally. Yeah. So what? Uh, what made you want to start make, making music? Because well, people know my shit, so I want to hear your story. Yeah. So when I was younger, like I would like just rap around for me to say a couple things. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> Yo, no cap, like, I was mad corny, bro, like. <laughs> <laughs> we all were in the beginning. I was so we corny. We all were whack as fuck when we started. Yeah, you feel me? But, like, the fact that I did it so much, like, probably since I was, like, like six. Like, mm-hmm. probably, Damn, so you started young. Yeah, I would be, like, freestyling, like, six years. Wow, like, that's yeah. crazy. And um, what made me, like, want to do music more, because I started seeing, like, um, progression. Um, I played the piano. Facts. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. I played the piano. Um, I didn't know that shit. Yeah, it's you crazy. Play piano? Yeah, I play the piano. You feel me? Yeah, you should come out with that, bro. That's the yeah. thing. I love motherfuckers who make music in all different genres, but people uh-huh. who play instruments too. Like yeah. vocally, it's one thing, but instruments, that's some other shit. Yeah, it's like, bro, like that's what made me like, like, oh no, nah, I really could like mm-hmm. do some shit. Like, was it like classical piano? Yeah, bro. I oh played, shit, yeah, Beethoven. I need to me, see you Mozart, play. Mozart, bro. I shit, need to see that. that shit. You can do that. Like, that would be fucking epic, yeah, bro. bro. You're gonna bring that out at the, at the out got, your back pocket one day. Yeah, that's why I got this tattoo and shit. Oh shit, that's dope. Yeah, this is um Pocket Bells, Kenan and D. Wow. Yeah. This is the second song that I learned on the piano. The first one was Fair Elise by Beethoven. I'm gonna play a little snippet of that right there. <laughs> this is crazy. Right there. <laughs> like, that's crazy. That's fucking awesome. So why when did you stop playing or you just still play whenever? I just, well, no, nah, I stopped. Like there was a point in my life I just like I was just like, nah, I ain't gonna do it for me. Yeah, when I was, I played saxophone as a kid, and it was, it just wasn't for me as a kid. Oh, that's fire. Mm -hmm. Saxophones are so fun, dude. I didn't like the little, you have, there's a little wooden thing, it's called a reed, and Mm. you have to like wet it when you put it on, and I'm a germaphobe, so (laughs) that that wasn't the instrument for me. I'm a drummer now, though. Fucking bang that bitch out. Yo, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Sax? Yeah. And apparently, like, 
I had a really good sound, and the teachers were telling my mom to like make sure I stayed in it and shit. Yeah, but I didn't. It's whatever. I'm a rapper. I'm a rapper. Yeah. Rapper. Fucking. Damn, you, so you like you play with the drums? Like, yeah. You know, yo, it's Seen crazy. That shit, that's it's crazy. Well, I learned I learned but how I to play drums yeah. from Rock Band, the fucking video game. And I tried to do it from Guitar Hero, but it didn't work. Mm. So like, but they did wind up coming out with a piano. Too. So if you were mm. at that age when that came out, playing p- when you were playing piano, oh. you would have really been learning like visually how to do the shit. But yeah. by that time, I was already older playing real drums and shit. I didn't get a chance to uh, play the drums. Like, I wanted to. That was like what I wanted to play. I think everyone wants to play drums. I mean, yeah, like, so I went to like a... It's um, the first instrument besides the voice. What's it called again? Like, um, the first instruments were the voice, the percussion, which is a drum, and then a flute. A pan flute. Yeah. But what were yeah. you saying? It was like a, uh, you know how like um, you go and you uh, audition, right? Mm-hmm. Fuck it, fuck it. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I went to uh, audition and shit for the drums at school, and I played it. He was like, "Oh, you made the team, All right? You know what I'm saying? Like you're a part of the band." I'm like, "All right, cool." Oh, like and the drum line trouble. shit. I got in trouble, and I got kicked off of it. Nah. So a lot of things that I wanted to really do, I couldn't do because I kept getting in trouble. The music, they don't play that. Like, it's, more than the sports. They let yeah. you get in trouble more with sports. And in music, if you get in trouble, <laughs> yeah, you're fucked with the music if you get in trouble. And that's the weird yeah. thing, too. A lot of schools stopped having the music, the music classes for real. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking, um, oh, yeah, I forgot to say, put that, yeah. put them bitches on silent. It's all, <laughs> it's all good. So, um... So what do you do, man? You guys just brothers? Yeah. Homies hang out all the time? Damn, family. 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 Bro. Yeah. Facts, good answer. Fucking, um, I met you when we did that one session, and that, I think, literally, that might have been the last session I did. I haven't booked any sessions it's since then. It's been a minute. Uh, it yeah, it's been, been a minute. long fucking time. I've just been focused on creating a lot of other shit. Yeah. Literally painting and shit. Like, I'm painting now. Oh. There's a painting drying in the shed right there. I can't wait. So that I'm doing yeah, galaxies. Wait till I show you. Fucking, I want to do videos with my paintings as the green screen. Oh, that's different. Mm-hmm. And yeah. ju- and like jump into different parts of the painting because yeah, different, different different parts of the painting will mean different shit. But um, yeah. that's fire, dude. I'm excited that you're dro- about to drop this shit. Um, how do you feel about shows? When you when are you gonna do a show again? Are you just gonna wait till everything's fully open? Because that's what I'm doing. There's something that I ain't gonna speak on. Mm-hmm. But niggas gonna see me real soon, feel me? Facts. <laughs> Facts. But definitely wanna uh can't wait for other opportunities, you know, open up. Mm-hmm. I'm saying like I miss that. Like being on the stage and stuff like that. That's like Yeah, that's my life, bro. Yeah, that's your that's definitely your life. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> that's how I survived. So yeah. when that when this shit shut down, it's like I really went into the studio session shit, but at the same time, it's COVID, so I couldn't even be like confident in having motherfuckers yeah. come through all the time. Yeah. So I miss shows and shit, but I also I'm, I'm I'm probably not gonna do shows how I was before where I was like I was throwing these epic showcases of different genres like bands and rappers and singers all on one show. And I think when I do my first show back, I'm just gonna keep it strict three three groups instead of like t- 10 people performing oh, because i would be it would be such a good show and the thing about a lot of shows now is like people leave after their person performs yeah and that's the thing about my showcases that didn't happen because everyone mm-hmm. was so talented so i built up a nice little scene and a chunk like that but i also realized that throwing that shit and <laughs> it's just all in your hair so you got b- bud nuggies in your hair fucking oh, thank God. <laughs> When I was throwing them, I realized that, yeah, every, everyone had an epic time and they would sell out, but I mm. wasn't having fun. I realized that, all right, I had to run around like a chicken with my head cut off just to make sure that yeah. everybody had a good time and that this guy was on stage when he was supposed to and this yeah. guy didn't go three minutes over his set time. When These are all my brothers and musicians that I fuck with. Mm. So it brought a different dynamic of the business and me understanding what's what and why it costs what to rent venues and shit like that so so you, what, was, you was like managing for them no i was just throwing my own shit mm-hmm. like no one was throwing shows like i was saying so and the people that were throwing shows their fans fans or friends were leaving right after they perform so yeah. if you're fifth in the performance and there's only 10 performers and these people are bringing five people each these shows are very shitty you know they're yeah. sad oh, to be at facts. they're sad to be a part <laughs> yeah. of so when i saw that 
I was like, all right, the only thing they're missing is talented people on stage. They have like one or two good people and everyone else is trash and it's like friend support. It's not real. Yeah, oh, dude, not. you're good. I fuck yeah. with you. Yeah. So that's why I it's started bringing my in. bro. <laughs> yeah, for real. It's like, it's, yeah. it's weird. It's, and it's a, it's cool, but it's a weird thing. So that's why I did it how I did it. But that being said, everything I did, I was just like, I didn't have any time to fucking just do sit. Yeah. And be like, yo, dude, how am I? How am I doing right now? Yeah. So re- in hindsight, realizing those shows, I know when, when this shit opens back up, I'm not doing a show at 80%. Mm-hmm. I'm doing 100% capacity when I can come back. And when I come back, that shit's going to be fucking retarded, bro. Yeah. Years of energy and talented motherfuckers. And I can't wait to get you on the fucking lineup. Yeah. Oh it's going to be crazy, bro. And then Don't other than that, I'm that. just looking for festival bookings. So, oh, and then the fire. content. That's yeah. Ooh, where did you perform at? Everywhere, bro. Like, I've, uh, like, mainly, I would throw shows down here in, in Philly at the Voltage Lounge. Mm. But this is the thing, too. A lot of venues almost closed during this time. Like, mm. this is a weird shit. So they passed something for, like, venues to be good. But mm. I performed pretty much everywhere besides the West Coast because I haven't gone back to the West Coast since, like I was saying, I lived in Arizona. Mm. And I moved there to become a rapper. Like, you were saying you started rap when you were six. Yeah. I didn't start till I was 18. I graduated <laughs> high school. And I was the white boy that could dance in my school. So I was, like, crump battling you, people. Oh, you, <laughs> like, yeah. Oh. Club, Jersey Club? Yeah. yeah that's, Jersey like, the Club, shit Wu-Tang like, and yeah, dancing. Like, that's how I would dance battle and shit. And when I graduated, that first summer, you remember that first summer you graduated? Just all parties. Just nonstop. Before I knew it, it was the next winter, like, end of winter. Mm. And I had no idea what the fuck I was doing with my life. And at yeah. that time, everyone around me was getting arrested and... Because yeah. we were partying and doing dumb shit as kids. So Damn. I was like, if I want to do something, partying, I got to do commit. something yeah. where I can, like, party and have fun every day. Mm-hmm. What is right. that? Music. Because I was playing rock band and shit. Yeah. I was like, all right, if I'm going to be a rapper, I got to, like, rap at a party, though. So I wrote a 16 to Drake's uh, Till It's Over or whatever. Mm. The Till It's Over. <laughs> I wrote oh, a 16 yeah, to that. Right. And I didn't yeah. have instrumentals because there was no YouTube instrumentals yet. Yeah. It was fu- I wrote, rat, wrote it over his vocals. And yeah. I knew a cypher was going to start it, at the party. You had it low? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And at the fucking party that next yeah. weekend, because there was a party every fucking weekend, yeah. I rapped it and everybody freaked out and wanted me to keep rapping, but I had no more raps. Yeah. So the next yeah. week I moved That's to crazy. Arizona. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to Arizona and I'm just going to write for a year, party and find myself as far as the subjects I'll talk about. And then when I came back, I started the South Jersey Cyphers. Mm. And that's how I connected a lot with that. I joined viral. It was fire, and yeah. I got a buzz from that. But I rode the wave of the. Remember, I said partying. I party, mm-hmm. and the wave just yeah. became low tide. So I got came down the shore, reassessed, started throwing shows, connected everything. Then oh. boom, COVID and everything got weird again. So now I'm kind of at that same spot as I was a couple years ago. But the thing about me is when I build shit, it fucking builds and it goes quick. Yeah. And the thing that I wasn't doing before was taking initiative and keeping it. You know, oh. I was just giving it to everybody and they were running in their corners. You feel oh, me? Yeah. Now yeah. I understand how to business wise how to keep my doors open and the lights on. My mm. doors were open and my lights were flickering. Mm. You feel me? So now my lights are on and my doors are only open to those. It's a lot of shit that goes into this music thing, man. Yeah, like it's a lot. All man. that being said, I just wanted to rap and dance and party. But when you start when you understand the music industry this That's fuck shit, bro. How do you feel about the music industry? <laughs> Damn, bro. On the, I need to hear your words on, on it. the camera, like, <laughs> nah, bro. Your honest opinion. Industry, bro. Um, I, uh, bro. Don't worry about nothing getting you pigeon toed. Well, you it's know, it's like, cause I'm trying. All right, basically, bro, like. Cause deep down we all oh. know what it is. But yeah, it's it's bullshit. Yeah, you know what I mean it's bullshit. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna just get in. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Get my shit. <laughs> get out. <laughs> I feel you. You feel me? That's I feel you. And, and and in hindsight, when I see motherfuckers like a, a Nas who seems so quiet as far as mainstream and mm-hmm. and other celebrities who get it, and then they're still relevant, but they're yeah, not. Yeah. You understand why? Because. Yeah. There's so much shit behind closed doors that's like, y'all motherfuckers don't even know. Like, it's not. It's, it's so really like, is fraudulent. It, like, is it worth it at the end of the day? Yeah, you know, no. it's really not. So it's that's not. why, like, I had to hone back on what I'm doing and really reassess what I do it for. Uh-huh. You know, because 
I started it to party and make music, and yeah, but the real thing is to connect. Yeah. When you're throwing house parties, it's to bring yeah. people together, you know? Yeah. I wasn't throwing house parties to make money off a of nitrous tank, even though. Yeah. Shout out to that. <laughs> Fucking, I was throwing parties so people yeah. could come and hang out other, where otherwise they wouldn't. Because when you go to like, yeah, yeah, bars are trash, all that shit was trash. So I just, I connected my party throwing planning to the cypher planning. I connected mm. both of those planning to the show planning. Now I'm connecting all that planning to shit like this and... I'm just yeah. applying it to other aspects of it. And what I learned about the industry is that I don't want to be in it. I want to be a part of it. So that's pretty much what you're saying. You're going to get in and out. Yeah. So I'm realizing, like, I want to get in and I've kind of been in and out of it. But now I'm at the point where, like, yeah. all right, I know who's who now yeah. as far as reality goes. Mm. Yeah. So that's why you'll see a lot of, a lot of homegrown shit coming. But that's what I wanted to I wanted to ask you, and I'm pretty much going to ask every artist that because it's just funny to get everyone's react because they all do the same thing. They all first like shit. Should I even say this? Mm. And then they're yeah. like, it's it's fucking fake. <laughs> yeah, it's, but it's, it's an fake. entertainment, you know. I didn't think music as entertainment, you know. Yeah. I didn't. I put entertainment as like that ET show on TV mm, where yeah. it's like tabloids and shit. Yeah. When I think of entertainment. I think of like actors. I don't think of music. For music is like a, it's like a breathing for me. Uh-huh. It's weird. So, yeah. all that all that real shit I was doing to only dive into a cesspool of fake shit. It's fucking crazy. That it's weird, bro. Shit, it's different. Like, it's weird. Like, like I'm not gonna say no names. You feel me? But I've spoke to a lot of like artists who were like in the industry. Like, you feel me? Like they made it. Mm-hmm. Fuck niggas, yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. fraudulent. Facts. Mean, they real, they play that real shit, and then like it just turns. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. And when that you realize shit. that they do it for a camera or they do yeah. it for their phone, uh-huh. that's like that's a big thing that threw me off the last two years because mm-hmm. before COVID, I was taking a step back, like right before it. So the yeah. fact that COVID happened actually played into my role as far as mental capacity goes with this shit. Uh-huh. But when you're in this and you fucking realize that, like, it's friends change, bro. Yeah. Friends change. Like, motherfucking fa- people you consider family. Oh, my God. So it's we like, gonna, so that's I why you speak have to. On that, bro. Yeah, so like, that's why that, you have to really assess crazy. this shit. And, like, I reassessed it and was like, okay, I'm the reason that all of that shit happened. Mm. But I'm also the reason I have nothing to say for it right this instant. Yeah. So I took accountability, took initiative, and now we're here having this convo about the shit. And excited to have a fucking a actual future that we control. Yeah. You know, that's the whole thing. Friends, bro. Facts. So what's your favorite color? Red. Red? I thought you red. said bread. <laughs> <laughs> bread. No, nah, it's red. red. I wear a lot of green, but it's red. Yeah, you do wear a lot of green. Yeah. Is it my, for like the outer space vibe? I don't know what it is. It's just like, like, cause my hair was like mad different colors. Like, you mm-hmm. feel me? I had mad different shit. But... My, 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 bro, my hair turned green, bro. Like I don't know what it was. It's like I turned to a whole it. different. Like I was bro. looking at a it just like a yogi color wheel, and obviously they represent red with like destruction and shit, and blue mm. and purples. And I was like avoiding the color red for the past year. <laughs> I don't know why, but it was like subconsciously I was like I don't want to be angry or project anger. And now that I don't give a fuck about it, everything I'm posting is red. It's so Damn. weird how that shit. But it matters because now that I'm painting too, uh-huh. the color platelets or whatever, like the yeah. opposites, mm. which make things pop, it's so different. Like music, I, when I started writing music, yeah. it was just telling stories. Then drumming, I was able to get my physical anger out without having to beat people up. I was able to like physically beat the shit out of the drums. Now I'm like, I need a new way to create. So painting and visually directing, I'm like, now I make the song last. Mm. It's yeah. so weird. Whereas, yeah. like, you make Painting the song and then you do the video and then you do everything. Yeah. I'm making the song completely last. So, what's your favorite food? Damn. <laughs> I'm gonna just swing with random shit. Um, I'm low key fat. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So I like I like everything. Like the same you rice and me? beans. Rice and, rice and beans. Rice and beans. Damn. But you gotta get, you gotta get the, uh, the poppy. Rice and beans, you can't get. Yeah, the real shit. Yeah. You can't be getting my shit. Thanks. I fucking trash <laughs> at rice, bro. Yeah. Dude, I've I tried to do that shit. Past two weeks, I can't fucking get it. The rice. 
it fucking says you do this, then you let it sit. And when I let it sit, <laughs> it doesn't get softer. Yeah, hard, hard ass, right? <laughs> and, and then I fucking, you're supposed to mix it, so I mix it, and then and I wind up just adding mad more water, and then it's just mm. like fucking, I don't even know, potato puffs. Yeah, hard y'all, y'all rock with uh, trash it rice. Uh, Alfredo chicken. Yeah, bro. Pasta. Chicken shit. Alfredo. Oh, my God. That's my, that's my shit. That was always my go-to. I like that more than red sauce. That shit hit different. Like Baked mac and cheese. <laughs> mac and cheese is good. Max. Mac and cheese, you can't go wrong with that. Yeah, especially like that real big mac and cheese. Yeah. Like that shit. Yeah, the real shit. My sister makes some buffalo mac and cheese. Buffalo baked mac buffalo, and cheese. Like yeah, with like bake. with like crumbles on top and shit. Oh, that yeah. shit sounds good as hell. Not yeah, crazy. that's fire. My favorite food. I don't know. It always changes, but yeah. I guess like you it's can't, you can't eat it too much. It's, it's just got to be pizza, I guess. Like the go-to pizza. is just like pizza's just like not my favorite food. My favorite food is steak. All right, that's what it is. Mm. I like Yo, steak. Y'all I fuck with, with chicken cheese steaks. Heavy, chicken bro. cheese steaks, dude. I'll fuck with heavy, bro. Dude, I got a buffalo chicken cheese egg roll. Wait. It was I a buffalo chicken cheesesteak, but it was deep fried in an egg roll. Nah, I had that. Joke. Oh had my that. lord, bro. That shit was retarded. Y'all got to try that shit if they have it. No, I had What's that joint in uh, G-Way. This John called something down the street. I forget what it's called. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to eat healthy, man. This shit is hard because I'm a fat ass too. <laughs> I'm so bad with cookies, bro. Cookies at the end of the night. Nah, I hate, yeah. I hate cookies. Why? I hate cookies, cake. Candy. You're so lucky. I swear I hate it. You're bro. so lucky. So you never wanted it as a kid and shit? Well, like, all right, so. Like when your you parents were trying to feed you greens. So, so ready? I had no choice but to eat that shit. Like, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because I couldn't waste nothing. So True. Like, it was like, oh, if you eat, you can't get up out the table if you, until you finish. But, like. That's how every parent spent, was. Like, I think it was like $100 on a kick. So, like, I like um, Jordans and shit like that, right? So mm-hmm. the Toro Fours. Um, she turned it into like a cake. Like it was fire. It got made. Fire. It was hard. I ain't eat none of it. Wow. <laughs> <'Cause> yeah. <you laughs> cake. I hate cake, bro. That is dope. I'm sure you got some cool pictures with it. Though. Yeah, that joint was nice. That's fire, dude. Ice cream cake, bro. That's my yeah. weakness. And yeah. especially at the end of the night, bro. Like right before, I'll be good as far as like diet goes and shit. But the mm. second it's midnight, I don't know. I just need like thirty cookies, two cups of milk. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to not eat that yeah. shit. It's fake. Talking about fake, we're eating sugar. Uh, you know, it's yeah. a leading killer. Diabetes. <laughs> Wait, what? Diabetes kills more people than anything. For real? Yeah, sugar. That's Dang. crazy. Yeah, and then there's another something with salt, which is like sodium and shit. But this is super dope. It's like plants raining. Very right. fucking home. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. Fucking um, so. I ask everybody this question, and I gotta. It's gonna be difficult as fuck for me to get out of this situation <laughs> to yeah. grab what I gotta ask you. So, uh, ignore the noise. Okay. <laughs> talk, to the people, talk to the people. Bow. Where is it? Wave change lighter. For me, I gotta get that. I'm saying limited edition for me. Oh, shit. Alright. Alright. Yeah. Slide up in here so I don't fuck it. Little vibe. You hear that? Oh Oh, shit. shit. You hear that? Hear all this noise? (laughs) All right. Bam. Oh, bang bang. If you had to fight to the death, could you do it with this? Let me see. And how would you do it? Let me see. That spray paint. Yeah, but the eyeballs. person you're fighting Listen. can only use this too. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. First, you man. gotta get the eyeballs so they uh-huh. can't see. So you're gonna uh-huh. spray them in the eyeballs? Okay. Wait, hold up. I, I could Because the other person can, yeah. Well, don't spray it. Don't do nothing of that. Oh, right. <laughs> 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 Fucking spray finish. <laughs> All right, so, you, so it, but the, it, this is what I'm saying though. The other person has this too. So you would just go straight oh, spray for the eyeballs. So they got it too. Yeah, you can't like elbow them or nothing. You have to use that. All right. So, so like being. he said, yeah. so like he said, right? right. For the eyes, you feel mm-hmm. me? You feel me? Oh damn! Oh, you feel me? You can't see after <laughs> right? that because then when he doing that, you feel me? Crack him in the middle of his dome. You know what I'm saying? With the bottom of yeah, it. Yeah, you feel me? With the bottom. Bow, bow. You know what I'm saying. I could dig it. 
Yeah, man. See, because it's going to yeah. be like, if it's like ready, because uh, I had another situation where someone was like trying to like, well, I would pop it and then I would like do this. It's like, bro, if someone's coming at you, yeah, with this, at you, yeah. you need to hurry up and you got it. yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I agree. I would probably spray for the eye. Honestly, I don't even know if I would use any bludgeoning. I would just keep spraying. Damn, mm. spraying his eye, and then like if he gets to the his ground somehow, just put it right in his nose. <laughs> spray, spraying his nose and his fucking down his throat. Oh, <laughs> Cry loud, crystal clear. All right, that's how we would survive, dude. <laughs> I look at random shit. Yo, like be over, bro. <laughs> this, this, yo, he gonna try to run, bro. <laughs> well, that's oh, what I, the gloves. Somebody did so that. Probably pink. scared as hell. No, this is finish. So oh. it's clear, mm. but it's poison. Obviously, obviously. Fuck you, you get like obviously. black spray paint. Wait, let me see the mm-hmm. green eyes. It's, it's the crystal clear finish, but it's, it's like, super yeah, it's thick. Glo- it's the gloss. That's the shit you Inflammable. put on. Flammable. Damn, yeah. bro. Boy, you don't have a lighter, though. Damn, if I, if I had a lighter, I'd use it. You know what I'm saying? I'd use it. You'd just them. be like, me? <laughs> That's fucking great. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, so what yeah. are you super excited about, man? What are you, what are you excited to release, you know? Besides bro. that video, what are, you, what, like, what are you stoked for in life? Bro, man. Me and Poot got some shit, bro. Facts, you've been cooking up? Shit. We got some shit. Facts. Yeah. I gotta get that new mic, man. Crazy shit. Yeah. I'll have that shit soon. I'll have that shit soon. Make a video to that shit. It's facts. Over. For me, over. Crazy shit. Fuck yeah. yeah. Hit that shit up. Dude. When it comes out. So. I don't really know what part I'm gonna put right here, but I do this every time. Oh. (laughs) <laughs> and this is the vibe. Alright, that was that. This is this. She was fucking fire, dude. This is gnarly <laughs> as fuck. Dude, so with these podcasts, I don't I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. We're just talking and I don't give a fuck about what we talk about or where we go. So a lot of these situations, you guys will just see me randomly, completely stop what we're talking about and ask some different shit. Yeah. Uh, so starting, like, for instance, a lot of people are debating who the fucking GOAT is and all that shit. When it comes to top fives in basketball, do you do it based off of just the top five best, top five records, or do you go off position? Because I think you should go off position. You can't be having, like... Three small forwards. I mean, mm. I don't know. This is who, like, unless you want to do it. LeBron, like that. Kyrie. Mm. Mm. That's two. Yeah. I got LeBron on mine, so. I mean, I have no Trae choice but to put him no, in. No, Trey Young. Oh, no, yeah. Trey Young. You got Trey Young on there, word. Young bull. Trey Young. John ja Morant. All right. Morant. He's nice, bro. They're both going to be Giannis. problems. And Giannis. Yeah, That's you a ain't nice say Giannis, five. bro. You ain't say Giannis. Then. That's a nice top mm-hmm. five. Who would you rock with? Um, yo, no cap. Curry, mm-hmm. for me. Sam. Steph Brown. Curry, not Seth. Oh, definitely Steph. <laughs> Curry, for me, no offense. Seth. Or Dell. For Seth, for you. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, um, definitely Steph and Curry. You know what I'm saying? LeBron. Mm-hmm. Um, Giannis. Um, I gotta put Trey Young there. I got to. Where? Got to, you know what I'm saying? And oh, let me see, bro. Uh, KD. For me? KD. KD. Facts. Dude, are you guys going off of today or all time? I'm just. I'm yeah, who I fuck with. Like, so I like, period. Yeah. Well, Word. all time. All time. That's what I'm saying. Like, all time. There's a couple people that would replace, I feel like, Trey and just because of. Yeah. But that's fire though. I would I would go LeBron, Allen Iverson. Kobe's the goat though. Yeah, yeah. yeah Michael I'd Jordan. I would throw Kobe on that bitch and Shaq. Yeah. I'll throw Kobe over Jordan for real. Yeah, those are yeah, they're good. Kobe is clutch. Shaq, Kobe. It's yeah. so it was crazy when I watched like AI. Cause I was never a Kobe fan because I was an AI fan. Mm. So I like refused to watch anything Kobe related Damn. as I was a kid. I hated him because I was an AI Island Iverson. I know that shit was hard. It's though. like Pepsi or Coke. Fucking Britney Spears or Christina Aguilera? That's a good one. Which one? Damn. Britney Spears got old. <laughs> they they got both old. got old. <laughs> 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 Britney Spears got old. Nah, because I think she's like old, old now. She's probably like... She's like 40. She just got released from her dad. 
Like, she was under a contract where she, like, had to perform and release music and shit for, like, mm. the past 15 years. It's crazy. Yeah. But back, I'm talking back in the day, like, I was Christina Aguilera all day. You were Britney. Nah. nah, nah. <laughs> you like Britney? Nah, I just, like, I can't, I can't pick one. Facts. You know why I can't pick one? Why? Because Vanessa Hudgens is the baddest. Uh, <laughs> Vanessa you know I don't even know who that is. <laughs> high School Musical, man. You feel I me? never watched High School Musical. Yeah, like, there's nobody better, you feel me? So I can't even pick, you know what I'm saying? Facts. No, who was nah, it? What was Christina her name? Definitely bad as hell. Christina, yeah, Christina, when she dropped "Dirty" with Redman, yeah. I was like, "Wow, yeah, she bad. she's doing shit different." And then the, the same managers they managed the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC. Like oh, this is what I'm shit. saying. All the shit crazy. I learned about the industry yeah. when I got in it a little bit, I was yeah. like, I don't want to be a part of this shit yeah. at all. So that's what really fucked my brain up because art is fucking awesome. But yeah. the, you, you had like somebody try to like fucking with you, like like a. a manager or some shit no it's nothing with me it was shit that happened to people around me mm. and yeah. i saw how their lives crumbled and mm. i saw how how quickly everything turned and yeah. it was also being around some celebrities to to see how they act the second they're oh, not on their phone bro. the second they're off their phone they're yeah. like this they act mm. different curled bro. up in a corner miserable the type of shit where you can tell at the end of the day when they're laying in bed they're sad mm-hmm. you know and that, that it was like Energy's not there. Even the songs that are created, like obviously the, what mainstream pushes, there's major agendas in this shit. Mm-hmm. And it's like people talk about it a little bit, but it's it's just like and, and the people who hold those the keys to those doors, it's like four people. Yeah. yeah. So when you're getting involved with these people, they're associated with the, it's just a really, really fucking weird cesspool in the industry. So like I said, nothing happened necessarily bad to me. I just saw the experiences in front of me. And I saw I don't want that shit at all. Yeah. So that's why people act like real different. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Like, what was the the main word of 2018? Is clout. You know, yeah, clout, clout chasers. Yeah. 2018 and 19, and everybody coming up with these. And there's always been wow factors, like Marilyn Manson shit. Like back mm, in the day, yeah. there's always been wow factors to shock you to get your attention versus the talent of the audio or whatever. Mm. But that's not what I have an issue with. It's the business. Because to me, what I've learned from business people is, like, to be a good businessman, like, basically means morally you have to be a shitty person. Mm. That's facts. Because to get the business deal that you need, you have to get something over on the person that you're doing business with. Yeah. Basically, they're paying you or whatever the transition is. So yeah. for you to get more out of whatever it is, you have to persuade and convince them that your shit is better, yeah. which is ego, which is... What is the business at the end of the day? Because we're creating art. So, mm-hmm. like, if someone says the wackest shit, I'm never going to fucking tell them to stop rapping. Mm-hmm. You know? That's why with my ciphers, I let the yeah, wackest people come. Like, yeah. yo, you think you're good? You're posting statuses, da da Come rap in front of 20 physical other rappers and see if you don't feel their eyes burning your fucking skull. Check, check the temperature. Yeah, because you're trash. You know and, like, and we'll yeah. see that. We'll, f- we'll hear your voice shake. We'll see all that shit. That's the shit that I, I go after when mm. with the industry. It's easy to fake the shit. Like, like I didn't realize how easy it was to fake. Like, I could right now just say like, "Yo, I just got signed," and troll motherfuckers, and like, yeah. everyone would hop on my dick. Mm. <laughs> everyone. Yeah. That's the yeah. thing too. People, bro. People are your friends, and like. Your friends should not be your fans. I think a lot of artists. Go, oh shit, that's crazy. I think a lot of people go that's through nice. this issue like your friends that were your friends before you started making music. Mm-hmm. They feel like they should be obligated to be friends of fans of their music. Like, nah, bitch, I'm already I'm already your friend. Mm-hmm. I don't need to be your fan to get in there. The fandom is a weird thing, you know, because you can genuinely just like someone's shit, and that's that. Then other people might like your shit and like want to get in and like actually be your friend. Mm, There's yeah. a different level of the shit, and I I want friends out of it. So when I learned like, oh, he's not, he's already my friend. He doesn't need to be my fan. Mm. It was like, it, it completely flipped my understanding of what how to how to go about the shit. It's weird, bro. There was there was someone that you used to see me around a lot. Mm-hmm. You know I mean? Everyone could tell like, he was like a fan. You feel mm-hmm. me? It wasn't like, oh, that's my bro. Like, no, nah, I think it was a fan. Yeah. Like, 
and it and it turned and you allowed it to turn into yeah, the other yeah. side. That's yeah, that's he did some fuck shit for me. That's what happened with me, bro. And and every situation, the fuck shit has happened. Mm-hmm. That's what's weird. So at the end of the day, he's still fans. You feel facts. Me? <laughs> at, the facts. The at the end of the day, they're, they're learning from us, and that's what I realized yeah. when I said that. Like, oh, I'm the one doing everything. I'm mm-hmm. the one who did it all. So now, yeah, now that these people understand the game from me yeah. and they're doing it alone and they seem like they're where they are or whatever that's cool because at the end of the day when that camera is off i know them you know and they know me they know what my intentions are and i know what theirs are now mm. so it's just a different level of um understanding and when people reach back out like that's happened to me nonstop. people reaching back out and apologizing and trying to make amends and i can accept the apology and I can forgive, but like that's that saying, I can forgive, but I can't forget. It's like, yeah, I definitely can't trust none of the none of, none of those people anymore. Mm. Yo, every everybody I came like, like I crossed paths with, you feel me? And they did some fuck shit. Fuck them niggas. Facts. Fuck them niggas. You feel me? Like, yeah, and like, and I and I'm I always try to look deeper. Like, why did this happen? How can this be a reason, like, to make my life fucking harder or better? And it's like, nah, at the end of the day, I did know from the jump that they were on some shady shit. At the end of the day, that's why I said accountability. At the end of the day, deep down, my gut, my fucking, not my heart, not my brain, my fucking gut told me, like, this guy doesn't have my best interest. But I kept him around. And I got fucked. And same with this person. And it only happened with a couple people, but it only that's all it took. I was like, all right, I'm not doing this anymore. So it's a, it's a weird realization, and that's why yeah. I want to capture and document. Everything I did is documented. It's on my YouTube. So that's why I, wanna, I really wanted to start this podcast and start having conversations with people about it because when we watch this shit in 10 years, we're going to fucking laugh about where we were in this mm. situation. You know Me. what I mean? <laughs> and, and, and laugh and like think about how much we grew and where we were and... Actually, if we if we stuck to our word in this moment type shit. Mm. So this is like documented like everything I have. Whereas everyone else posts their highlight reel. That's mm. the thing too. Is like people are only posting the best of the best. Yeah. You don't see, you see all LeBron shit. You see all Michael Jordan shit. You don't see every single day in the gym type shit. You wasn't mm. with me in the gym, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Fact. You could take the recipe. It's not going to taste as good. I promise you that. I can't cook rice. There's a reason. I don't know how to cook it. They gave me the recipe. They gave me how to do it. I can't fucking do it. Yeah, it just doesn't come out the shit. same. Y'all can't do this shit. It's funny. And it's easy, it's easy to see, too. Yo, what could you cook? I cook everything but rice. Oh, shit. <laughs> everything but rice, bro. What, what could you cook, bro? I can't cook shit. Nothing? I mean, I could, like, like mac and cheese. Uh, bag, yeah. The uh, eggs, get the breakfast yeah, in this bitch. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I go crazy in the kitchen, bro. I ain't gonna cut. Really? Yeah. What do you cook? What's your favorite thing to cook? I, I love cooking a, breakfast. Like you don't you don't got no recipe. You just cook oh, you're talking about like oh uh, yeah, I like I like making breakfast and shit. Breakfast yeah. is fire. I'm trying to stop eating but bacon. See, this no is the recipes. thing too. All these no I've been doing mad research on like bacon and oh, the shit that I've been eating my whole life, yeah. bro. The sugar, like I'm addicted to sugar, bro. Yeah. That's why I, I crave it. Like you don't realize how addicting this shit is. Soda, sugar, all that shit. I hate soda. Nah, soda I used to though. Love it. Soda, like that pop, like man. I need it. Yeah, there's something about something that soda. pop. Something. I don't know. Soda pop. That's like the thing for kids, and it just fucks their teeth up. Soda pop. Yo, you know, like I didn't know, like soda was like called pop. Probably like two years ago. <laughs> they only do it in certain places. Did you know like, Coca Cola had Coke in it? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. That's crazy, that. bro. They had cocaine. In this Black soda, machine too. The vending machine. What? The vending machines. You get it straight from the vending machine. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Damn. They had that shit, like... I want to try that shit. No, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Coke can take oil off. You're like, you know there's oil I'm marks playing. on street on the street when the car parks? Cocaine. Mm-hmm. Cocaine. Coca-Cola takes that up. If you just pour Coca-Cola on apparently, that shit... Apparently, it cleans toilets and shit, too. Yeah, you could put yeah, it on... Yeah, and we're uh, drinking yeah. this shit, Damn, man. Damn, drinking that shit I know, right so, but the thing is, you're like, I really want a Coca-Cola right now. Yeah, like, it make you feel we good. We don't even... Like, yeah, we don't even think nah. about what we're fucking nah. ingesting. I don't, like. I don't fuck with soda. I don't know. I don't like that. I li- I'm a juice guy. I fuck with me some apple juice. Yeah. Nah, I like them, them tea sits right there. Orange juice, you apple juice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
My the mom didn't like allow me to drink like soda growing up, so I guess like soon as a nigga I wish see that like shit, I have over, friends who bro. say that, but but now they don't like. Well, my boy who was never allowed to drink soda, he doesn't drink it a lot, but he like treats it like a fucking ceremony. Mm. So it's you're like, opposite. You just drink it all the time now. Bro, now I don't drink it all the time, but like I definitely drink it because so I can. Like, mom, I used to nothing. only drink <laughs> I would never drink water as a kid I never drank water For real? It's crazy dude I never drank water The things that that, that we go through And it's we crazy. don't realize the stupid shit we were doing our whole lives mm. Like rega- yeah. relationships we just talked about Diet we kind of talked about Bro I survived off of cereal I literally from fucking age 4 oh, To yeah. t- fucking mm. 12 I ate cereal every single day and that's fake food. It's not What's real. What's your favorite cereal? It's sugar. Oh, my God. That's a good one, dude. Ooh, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, you just... So, this shit's all in y'all the Reese's Puffs. The, Reese's, Reese's, Puff. <laughs> oh. the Reese's, Puff. Reese's Puffs are good. Fruity Pebbles, dude. But, like, as far as, like, just taste that, like, I crave, like, Captain Crunch has a really good taste. Oh, but it Link. fucks the roof of your mouth up. Wait, what? When you eat too much of it. See, I be eating boxes, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's just like dog food. That's, that's what I'm saying. Wait, it's, for real? it's not the good. The way that it is? Just the oh. texture of it. So, like, if you eat, like, five bowls, the roof of your mouth is fucked up. My favorite is Honey Nut Cheerios, bro. They're fire. That's See, but they're not as... T- I used to add sugar to that. Yeah. I couldn't. I used to sprinkle that. sugar over it. Uh. That's And it's already sugar. And milk is sugar. Mm. When I realized that fucking... I'm trying to... T- See, like, that's the thing about these podcasts, too. If you go back to, like, episode nine or something, you'll hear me, like, bitching, like, trying to fucking fix my <laughs> diet and shit. And, like, yeah. ten episodes later, I'm <laughs> still here just, like, it's an everyday battle with this shit. And drinking water every day. I three cakes today. <laughs> Christmas cookies, bro. Like, my family doesn't even get me shit. They give me cookies. Mm. They give me like bundles and I you eat like all of it. You like cookies that much? Yes, nah, bro. Busted. And the, the fact crazy. that I'm not. Yeah, how y'all like that? The shit? fact that I'm oh, not no. obese blows my mind, but it's because I work my ass off every day yeah. to keep from that. But at the same time, if I didn't eat that, I would be so ripped right now. I would be like a fucking. Yeah. Yo, but I went I to the gym yesterday. How'd it feel? Um. <laughs> mm. I'm so tight. It's all about <laughs> stretching. I never stretched a lot, I would always just go. And I'm like a bulky guy, so I need to stretch. And ever since I started doing that, bro, my sleep got better. Everything has gotten better. Mm. Yeah. When you're younger and they say stretch, you're just like, man, fuck you. <sighs> like, it's, it's a waste of time. Warm up, do a couple jumping jacks and go. Mm. You know, shin splints aren't a fucking joke. Bro, jump rope. I'm not, oh, shit. Don't run. I'm telling you, get a jump rope. That shit is different. Mm. Nah, like... Nah, that shit. You feel that shit, bro. Like, you I try to, to do that shit. I can only. Do, I started like two weeks ago. I'm, I'm doing. I can jump for like a consistent minute and a half, two minutes now. But I can only do like twenty jumps. Mm. I'd have to stop for ten seconds and twenty jumps, and because you realize jump rope is not. Yeah. Yeah, you got to keep your body stiff and only use your wrist. <laughs> yeah. It's super gnarly, bro. So yeah, so I was trying. I was like, how do these boxers be doing like? The footwork and shit, and yeah, it be takes twisting that shit like yeah, this. it takes time. You do that shit? No, not yet, uh, not yet. I can only fucking. Ju- I just started learning how to like hop, hop, mm. hop, hop. I know but how to do like, uh, like that. That shit's shit. hard. Probably bro. get about like yeah, three in, degrees. then it hits my legs and shit. Did yeah. you? Ten minutes of jump rope is an eight minute mile. Wait, what? Ten minute. Yeah. That's why I love it. Too. I used to run, I and it's better runner. on your knees because you're doing both of them to use the resistance, yeah. and you're on your toes. You're not mm. dead cross country, dude. So did I. Yeah, I did too. Dude, uh, yeah. why with them short shorts? Mm. <laughs> I was good, and I was like, "Oh, we gotta wear these! Like, we really have to wear these." I was only black kid for me on that on that team, bro. What school did you go to? It was like, what was it? You don't have to give that info if you don't want to. No, you know what? I probably shouldn't, cause fuck them niggas. Yeah, don't give that info. Like that. Don't give it. <laughs> info. <laughs> but like, nah, like I was only black kid. Like that was like when I. Like, What'd you do? I did um cross country. So like, so you did a long run. Yeah, the long ass fucking like. I hate bro, those. There was this Asian kid. He was fucking bro, <laughs> just jogging, bro. You feel me? Mm. And he did not fucking stop, bro. Like I couldn't keep up, bro. Mm. That's then, why I quit football because of the running they made us do in practice. I hated that shit. That's and I was a I, I was a sprinter. Yeah. So like they were like okay with me only running really fast for a little bit mm. and then stopping. But that was the thing too. Looking at cross country. Yo, by the way, if we keep hitting these fucking microphones today, I apologize. It's a goofy situation. Oh, shit. My fault, my fault. No, I, I think I am. But when I was 
looking into like how to get the body that I wanted, I looked, I saw two pictures it was a fucking marathon runner next to a sprinter mm. and the marathon runner was like skin and bones mm-hmm. and yeah. the sprinter was fucking ripped like a football player so i was like because at that time i was jogging through two three miles a day trying to get my body into like this metabolism state uh-huh. to learn that everything i was doing wasn't sustaining the muscles i was building at the same time mm. so i learned like okay instead of jogging two miles i should probably do like 12 sets of sprints which equals one mile or a mile and a half, but it's all sprint. So that just, it's fast twitch to your muscles, which builds it instead of leaning it out. I ain't even want to do it. Like, I just like. You just tried it? You played every sport? I played basketball. I played football. The the cross country. Yeah. Wow. You played every sport? That's when I stopped high school. But I kept getting kicked off the team. Because of grades or something? Well, you yeah, just got man. Grades and I was doing mm-hmm. bullshit. We, no, I... Um, oh, you stopped playing sports? I stopped playing... Damn, I keep hitting that. I stopped playing sports in sixth grade because the coach is straight up. Mm. It wasn't because of schoolwork or nothing. Like, it was a fun to me. Yeah. That's yeah. why I started making music. It was fun to me, you know? When I, when it stopped getting fun in the industry I it's saw... you know you're good at. I was done with it. Yeah, I was good at basketball. It was fun to me. But when I got, when we got into that first practice and the coaches were like... Da, 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 yelling at you and shit. I was just like, not about it. Like, all right, mm-hmm. dog, chill out, man. I'm trying to hit a layup and fucking <laughs> swoosh and shit. Like, I'm not trying to run 30 fucking minutes. You know, I'm trying to, I'll, I'm down with dribble drills. I'm down with all that, but mm-hmm. I'm not down with like all the extra military shit. And yeah. football was that times 20. Oh, damn, suicides, 50. Did, suicides. Yeah, that was trash. Suicides, suicides was better, honestly, than, the, than the, the beginning purpose. run around the gym. Mm. Mm. That because that was the long distance shit. I hated that. And football, I was cool with. Like I loved the practice. I loved the when you're on your back and you get up and you just oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you have like three yards to, to do head. it. Yeah, I yeah. love that shit. But and I was a really fast player. But the practice started with like a two mile run and ended with a two mile run. Mm. And dude. I was done. It, it's good. And coaches yelling at you and shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is exactly what coaches. happened. I hate this coach. is exactly coaches. the last. You, this you just crazy brought back a crazy memory from talking about that. Right. The last football practice I ever had. This one coach, he was like shorter than me, and I was mm-hmm. only like four foot seven. Yeah. He was such a prick, bro, to everybody. And his <laughs> son was like, his son was only like four years older than us, but his son, kid. yeah, but his son was like a bully coach, kind of trying to be like his dad. And I fucking hated both of them mm. and i wanted Punch to be the quarterback but they mm-hmm. had me at cornerback because i was fast i had the arm I, I was fast i should have been a quarterback yeah. and i was running back and cornerback and they had me at defensive end too because i could get around the, the blocker fast but i'll never forget it they said everybody who has their helmet off has to run two more miles and i had my helmet off because it was hot i don't like sweating mm. like in a situation like today i had the ball i got so pissed and i just like they asked for the foot. Who has the ball? And I had the ball. So I just like pegged it to like their directions because they were kind of far away. But I threw that shit so. And kids' footballs are harder than NFL balls. Yeah. They're like pointier. And dude, I threw a perfect peg spiral right to the kid's temple. Yeah, the fucking knocked the dude out. Damn. <laughs> Gave him a fucking concussion with a football throw. You got in trouble. It's the coach's son. They got you in trouble. Oh. He tried to make me run. I said, nah, bitch, I'm done. <laughs> I'm not playing football no more. What's you're just trying to make me run. You see I got a fucking arm, Yo. and you're trying to eat. Like, I just showed you. Yeah, so, you like, crack. <laughs> yeah, crack that motherfucker. And, and years later, years, years later, I see him at, like, a house party. And he's like, actually, shout out to, I forget his fucking name, but if you're watching this, shout out to you. Like, you're a really cool guy when we got older. <laughs> but when I was a kid, your dad was so mean to us, and I fucking hated it. <laughs> And I actually was aiming for him, but <laughs> but you were he was teaching you how to coach, and you were right there, <laughs> and the spiral hits you right oh, there, and they were like, "Who did it? Who did it?" Yeah. And I was like one of the last kids with the helmet off because they obviously knew that so it was just a bad situation. Mm. But yeah, that's yeah, one that's of the reasons crazy. I stopped playing football was running mm. and basketball coaches and running. That's, it was the same thing. That's so the last I guess sport. I have a problem with authority. That was the last sport. Yeah, I guess I have a problem with authority. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely do. If that's the case, because it's something about being told, like it, as kids too. Like you have kids, so like when you tell them not to do something, Shit, got, yeah. first thing they do is do it. That right? right? I'm like chill, bro. Like you feel me? 
<laughs> they're Stop like, what the that. fuck does chill mean? Like, Stop touching that. You feel me? And they touch it. Yeah. So it's like, it's reverse psychology. So it's like, you I tell them to touch it, well. and then they won't do it. Yeah. It's super weird. But I think that's something to be aware of psychologically, because we all do the same thing now. Yeah. When we're told we have to do something, it's the second we have this... this sense of like fuck that I'm not doing that I, I, I want to do it when I want to do it yeah. you know that's some weird shit yeah. but when what happened with me last night a situation where there's a big brother and you can't just you gotta handle that yeah. that's a different kind of stress you know what I mean oh, yeah that's some different shit yeah. but all that being said though I think uh, I think we're fucking learning and doing this shit every day mm. we're getting better at understanding what, what we want individually Cause like, cause I can't help you, or you get anywhere you want to be if I'm not where I need to be Facts. or aiming to be that. Yeah, it's hard to see everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying there's that laziness push. Like that's my my biggest issue is laziness. Mm. I just the sec, I do a lot and I do so much to try and justify the laziness, but then I find myself just being lazy and then I'm like fuck I gotta do a lot so I do a lot and then I'm like alright I did a lot today but then I'm like fuck I like I'm like I'm like the opposite bro like I do like way too much Mm -hmm. where like it like you just painted that shit yeah Yeah. yesterday I'll show y'all all the paintings yeah Yeah, that shit like that shit fucks me up Mm -hmm. you feel me I do so much shit in the day bro like no time to chill you feel me and then like at the end of the day I still feel like I ain't get everything done like, yeah, that's like, like <laughs> I guess that's what pushes us to get shit done, period. Yeah. Because in this art world, in this world of content, like, mm-hmm. who fucking knows who's going to hear this conversation and be like, oh, that's cool. Oh, I agree. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I said, these are really more of, like, self-archives for me. But, like, all I do when I'm working out is listen to podcasts. I don't listen to music. I, that's the thing. I haven't listened to music in, like, six years, seven years. I, I make so much of it. I don't listen Damn. to shit. So all I do is listen to podcasts and people, and when you hear, like, a T-Pain tell his story or, like, motherfuckers tell their industry stories, they're like, oh, I just saw all that. And for you, it's like, oh, I was just went through that. And it's just an eye-opener. So I wanted to do it on my level, whether we're local or global, whatever you want to call us at the time. Mm. These conversations are going to be important for motherfuckers who are at that level. Niggas know me in space, you heard? Facts. (laughs) Space. I'm trying to get up there, bro. Same. Trying to get the fuck up there. I'm thinking about dyeing my hair. I don't know what color. I'm going to bleach this bitch. Mm-hmm. See, what's fucked up is I wanted to do rainbow before Takashi did it. Mm. And then the rainbow got abducted by a I group think, of people. I think. Who else doesn't know? Um, what's your favorite color? Oh, yeah. I like black. Black? Mm-hmm. Because yeah, everything, up, that, mm. everything else comes from, can just pop from. What's that. your favorite color? Purple. Purple's fire. Purple. Yeah. purple is fire. That's a healing color. Yeah. I like purple. Like, baby blue was my favorite color growing up, but I'm leaning towards black. Oh, You'll see. Because I'm gonna show you like some of my paintings. I started. I started doing like galaxy paintings. Mm-hmm. So by painting, I'm realizing how important darkness is, mm-hmm. like shading and lighting and all that shit. So I'm, I'm excited to fucking keep doing that shit. That's the painting right there with the hole in it? Yeah. You painted that? Mm-hmm. Bro, I want to see that. Yeah, y'all got to tell me what you see. I'll go grab that bitch right now. Right. Yeah, I definitely want to see that. Right. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that shit look hard. Huh? Yo, we got to drop that shit. You be drawing and shit? I used to. I actually won, um, I think, first place in, like, a school thing before. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, one of them beat shits or, like, like yeah, yeah, like a challenge. Like, yeah. So, like, but, like, I don't... I don't know. Oh. You do that uh, spray paint? Yeah. And they do it with, like, the plates and shit, and then they put oh, the plate. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, so, like, the... Them Johns. I fucked up with that, but the way that it happened was the texturing, because I fucked up so much. This is just one big fucked up that turned into other things. That's hard. Like, I see, like, a phoenix here, a fucking tiger. Yeah. But the texture, because I fucked up in the way that it textured when I did that spray paint, like you mm-hmm. said, it left it, like, I think that, shit. What else? It looks like, like, it's part of the planet. No, like, the yeah. planet got, like... That's hard. Yeah, it's, like, shining and all. Yeah. And then this is, I guess, like, just, like, the dark. 
then the this dude, this is my style. This is what I love. Dude. You be doing this shit quick? It doesn't take long to paint, honestly. Mm. But the thing about it is like when you fuck up, you can just kind of. You didn't. You just did that like. It like, just turns into stuff. Yeah. Like out of out of nowhere, you just yeah, started. You just started. Where yeah, you just, started? Just started painting. I think. I think I spray painted the whole background black. Mm. Because I let it dry and it started coming up with it. Oh. Dude, I have some really no I'm just letting this one dry. This is like my least favorite one, honestly. Mm, I have for some real? Epic ones inside. That's all good. Oh shit. But yo, that was this. We'll come back for another one. Do you want to tell any any of these fucking people what you have coming up or where to fucking go to find you and same with you? Hey man, Tino Nami, Google me, you know what I'm saying? Anniversary coming soon. Let's get it. <laughs> Poop. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Buggy with the Full Circle Podcast. We'll be back again soon. Back You're going to see these motherfuckers at yeah, my I shows should. when I come back. Yeah, it up. We're going to get more in-depth with convos. Follow me on the gram. Follow me on the gram. I'll see y'all, bro. I love y'all. Tune on. Gas pack. Gas pack. Gas pack.